Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. Today I wanted to talk about the menace of deep fake. Recently I read an article about uh, deep fake videos hurting retail investors, warns the head of India's BSE and NSC. So, the CEO of Bombay Stock Exchange and emphasized the rising threat of deep fake videos and investment scams targeting India's largest retail base, retail trader base, and he reports incidents about fraudsters exploiting his likeness to deceive both public and BSE staff. We've been warning about this, we've been saying it, we've been tom tomming it, now it's actually landed. And the sad thing is, it's not a very hard thing to do, it's not very complicated. Those of you who are there watching this on YouTube, all you have to do is Go and enter on YouTube how to create fake videos or how to create fake voice and it are many easy tutorials which are there which tell you how to do this. So the problem is prevalent. The warning was issued with from BSE along with the NSC warning retail traders of to be vigilant of investment advice shared on social media, especially involving hyper realistic manipulated videos and audio and images offering all kinds of unreasonable investment uh, returns and uh, he had a, actually had a own personal experience. Ramamurthy shared a personal anecdote where a deep fake video of him was being circulated advising people to join different investment communities which was not even from him. And this is even I have also had personal experience of being pulled into different WhatsApp group for cryptocurrencies, for share trading, for ideas and investment ideas. I get constantly be put into groups and communities and I have to keep ejecting myself out and reporting and exiting, reporting and existing. It is rather tiresome, but it is very prevalent. The limited resources BSE has in technologists, there's very little thing they can do about it because right now they're not being prepared for this and it's come and blindsided them to counter these frauds effectively. They have not thought of anything. Now, they are especially many of them are originating from foreign IP addresses. That means they're not even in India. Even if they're in India, they can cloak themselves and hide behind walls, firewalls in foreign IP addresses. It's very hard to track them and trace them. And even taking legal action, like for our example, Ramamurthy has filed a police complaint in an effort to tackle this issue. It's very difficult even for the police and the cyber wing to do anything about this. The current state of technology we are at and legal recourse we are at. So, till the government steps in, and decides to do something and do it fast, we will see a rise on online scams. The survey by local circles indicates that 39% of its respondents have experienced financial fraud in the last three years. The surge of scams correlates with increased online trading activities among Indians spurred by the affordable data and digital trading platforms. Like I said in another video, more and more Indians are trading, more and more Indians are online now through thanks to digital a revolution that's happened in India and our economy maturing and people being more informed about the stock market and equity market as a trade investment option, you can also expect this scams to grow exponentially along with that. Despite this prevalence of scams, Ramamurthy noted no significant economic damage has happened to the market so far. He highlighted that a significant portion of retail traders typically lose money in options and futures with regulatory act action step attempting to mitigate the risks from speculative trading. That is why if you open your app, they keep on asking you, are you sure you know what you're doing, that you understand what you're doing, that most people lose their money. It's like cigarette warnings you see on the cigarette, constantly warning you of cancer. BSC and NSC are trying to do that to educate people. BSC has conducted over 10,000 investment seminars annually and is aiming to educate traders on all levels about market risk and safety, safe investment practices. But the problem is this is widespread and what is happening is somewhere along the line the tides would turn and even genuine real news will start to be claimed as fake news which we saw happening in the US lead up to the last election cycle where this whole concept of fake news was very much there online. From a political standpoint in a political cycle now it's going to spread to a wider general cycle where we will find it very hard to even believe any news being shared as a true news or a real news or an authentic source because it will become very hard for us to see if this is true or not. Everything will have to be checked and verified before we move on it and I can not see the generation which is younger to me being that patient and being that generous in checking and verifying information before they decide to invest and move. So my advice would be to be slow in your investments 
be methodical and to do your own research and to figure out things on yourself rather than relying on tips and tricks and other informations online or from any other unreliable source. Since he, he took over in Jan 23, Ramamurthy has been working to introduce new derivative products and upgrading the BSE technology infrastructure because BSE has been losing its market share to NSC, which has been dominating trade volume in India. Though BSC is a larger market, it has more companies listed there, NSC is much more dominant in trade volumes because most people trade and prefer NSC. Despite all this, he is very optimistic and I understand him being optimistic. He cannot be pessimistic heading the organization which he just took over a short year ago. So, I understand him being optimistic. My own personal view is be careful, right? You can only, if something is too good to be true, you can take it for a given, it's too big good to be true. Lotteries are something which nobody bets on and you should also not be betting on. And future option trading is something I tell you not to bet on because it is like lottery. So please do not do future and option trading. If you steer clear of future option trading and you clear steer clear of any kind of insider trading and tips which you're looking for, you should be well and good. Most deepfake videos prey on your temptation and try to lure you into a world which you don't want to get into, but you think you need to be inside. That's how it works. You want to see behind the veil out of curiosity and you get sucked in. So steer clear out of this is all I'm saying. You're here to invest and make wealth grow. You're not here to gamble and ruin all what you earned so far to build. Thanks for watching the video. Do like and subscribe and share and do let me know what you think of our, our videos in the comments down below and we'll try and improve our content for you. Thank you very much for watching Be Rich today. Bye. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.